they just told you something. Okay, we are going to um, show briefly how we clean Aaliyah's secostomy. You can see I just took her button buddy off right here. Uh, let's see if I can find a clean spot to hold it. It was pretty wet. Um, we just did her flush and kind of got really wet and gunky. So, so we're going to clean it up before she goes to bed. Do a quick peek. She's got a little bit of granulation. Not much. Um, just needs to be cleaned up. And I've got some baby wash in a bottle. Um, I put, this is a, just a glycerin bottle that I took the label off of. I put about that much baby wash and then I just fill the rest with water. Then I have a bottle full of water here to rinse with and I have my gauzes here to wash. Okay, I'm going to let her hold this here. If she could quit sucking her nose long enough. Sorry. Allergies, you took your medicine yet? Yeah. Alright. Alright, kind of hold it right here. So what we're just going to do is I'm just going to kind of bathe it off with um, this right here. Use the cold. gauze to keep it from rolling to the bed or the floor, wherever it's we're cold. at. I'm kind of liberal with it. Uh, just wipe it off. It's going to get my bed wet anyway, it looks like. Gotta hold it still, sweets. Oh, sorry. Alright. And just make sure I get underneath it. Because sometimes some crud can get under the button. Is it recording still? Yes. Okay. And then I'm going to rinse. This is just plain water. And again, just kind of liberal cold. with it. Mm. Cold. Is the water cold? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. the only part I once again, the making the sure I get all the I soap like, off. The only time I like the water is when it's been sitting, it's been sitting, out sitting in, the, the car. in the car. When it's hot. Okay, and the last step is to dry it. And what I like to do, I can do this one handed. I just slide my gauze right underneath her button. Just like that. Just kind of gently press. I don't want to rub underneath the button because I don't want to irritate it. Hang on. And I like the gauze instead of cotton balls. We started out using cotton balls. Watch that out. And um, the gauze just seems to absorb a little better. As well as it has the little grooves to get everything good and clean. Okay. This here is just a scar. As is this here. Um, you can see she's got a little granulation. But everything looks good and clean. Um, we, she chooses not to treat the granulation until it gets much worse than that, like where it's sitting on the outsides of the button. She just doesn't like to treat it at this point. Um, so she has the AMT Mini 1. You can see it's really flexible, so you can get underneath it and clean it very good if you need to. Bless you. So uh, now she's going to choose her button buddy. Here, just choose one of these. This is the part she likes to do. There's Aaliyah. Hi. Which one? You got some dirt on your face. Can you wash your face. Hurry up. You want that one? Okay, so do you want to put it on? Let me hold those. And I've done a video on the uh, button buddies that she likes. Um, I've also done a video showing our storage um, or organization. It's this thing here. So she's putting her button buddy on. And we like the button buddy because it's washable, it's reusable, and we don't have to use the tape very often at all. Okay, yep, turn your button up. We like to turn the button up as often as we can so she doesn't get like this indention. And make, and make sure the button buddy yeah. is flat so it don't... So Say your that shirt, again. So your, make sure the button buddy is flat so your shirt doesn't tug on it like that. Yeah. And then when you fall or something or when you walk or something, you don't snag the button it hurts. Yep. So that's it. It just takes a few minutes. But we do it about three, four times a day, right? Alright. Say bye. Bye.